All right, guys, welcome back. So let me just create a new level, file, new level. And instead of choosing an empty level, an empty level doesn't have sky or skylight or directional light. So I'm just going to create, click on the default level. The only difference is this actually has a sky and skylight and sky sphere and all of that stuff. So I'm just going to press play. And as you can see, you know, your player is running around in this isolated little place. So we are going to start coding in this episode, right? And I know that there's two kinds of people watching this video. There are people who already can code, who have some amount of experience with some language, and you guys are excited to get started learning how to code in Unreal. At the same time, there are people who don't know how to code, right? Who This is probably your first experience writing code. And I want to do justice to that. I want to make you guys lifelong fans of writing code, right? You really have to love it. And to do that, I'm going to go a little bit easy, but I'm not going to go through concepts and theory before I go into the actual practicals. I feel like, you know, the way they teach you in college where you have six months of theory before writing your first line of code, I find that rubbish. I think it's important that I teach you the concepts of object-oriented programming. That's what we call it, object-oriented programming, where everything is an object. Uh, but the actual concepts, I think, you know, I'll teach you after we show you a few examples, right? And we'll, as we go along, we'll say, well, this is this, this is this, this is this, All right? So that's what I want to do. And uh, hopefully I do justice to your first experience with code. I, I think it's, it's like teaching somebody English, right? It's, it's tough, but at the same time, I think it can be done well, even you know, if, you're, if you're somebody who's in his 40s, right? So, so here's what we're going to do. In Unreal, coding is different, right? Co we, we don't actually write physical lines of code. We don't type anything, but we use something called blueprints. Now, blueprints are like visual code. Blueprints are basically a, a visual representation of code that's easier to use, easier to get used to, and more importantly, I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good way to introduce people to code, right? And I've taught people, you know, some amount of code in the um, web design series, but to be honest, those are just simple instructions. HTML and CSS are just simple instructions, whereas with Unreal, uh, blueprints, they are actual code, even though they look visual. I mean, you, you can get fooled by thinking they're not real code. It's not real code, but blueprints are actual real code, right? So don't worry, you're doing the serious thing and you can make most games with blueprints. Some fear you might have as well. If I don't learn some coding language, I might not be able to, you know, uh, you might always think the blueprints are weak, but blueprints are not weak. You can build absolutely any game. Trust me on this. All right, let's get started. We're on this map, and what we're going to do, and one thing you guys need to know is that in Unreal, the objects in your scene can execute code under certain conditions, right? That's what you need to know, because it's not just that you're writing code in one isolated text editor and they have nothing to do with the levels. The level and the code are very closely tied. In fact, code executes when certain things are maybe touched or hit or damaged or broken or whatever, some event, right? So events run code. You need to know that, at least for the, for the basics, events run code. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick out a trigger, right? So there are many different types of triggers, and a trigger is basically, you know, it's a box. And one of the cool things about this box is that it will not show up in game. So if I press play and I walk, well, nothing's happening, right? So what we want to do is I want to make sure that when you, when you overlap this trigger, when you somehow get on this trigger, a message is printed called hello meta. Right? I just want to have a simple piece of code doing that. Now, obviously, I can write code on the box. I can make a blueprint and attach it to the box and all of that. But I'm going to teach you the simplest way to do it. So every level, right? we created a level using new level. Every level in Unreal has its own code. It's called a level blueprint. Right? So I'm going to click on blueprints here. And I'm going to click on open level blueprint. Right? So this is the level blueprint. This is everything inside the level. Um, and we are basically going to put some code in here. And this is called the graph editor, right? And these are the different events. So an event tick is basically, well, every frame of the game, right? Obviously, in Unreal, um, it's not based on every second. It's based on every frame, because some calculations you might want to do every single frame. And some people with faster computers will just run more frames than some people with slower computers. Then there's another event, which is begin play, which is when the game actually starts. We don't need both these events. Um, but we want a new event. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to create a new folder called blueprints. I want all my blueprints in the same place. And I'm going to go inside and I want to call this level one blueprint, right? Just be careful. 
Now, obviously, you know, what we need to do here is we need to pick a reference to this trigger box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this trigger box, right? I'm going to right click and I'm going to say add event for trigger box, right? So I'm going to click this down and obviously there are many events. There's some collision events, there's some game events and some input events. So what I'm going to do in collision is I'm going to say add on actor begin overlap. Now there are many of these, right? And you'll get the hang of which to use when. This is, you cannot expect to already know what it is right now. So don't get frustrated. Uh, what we want to do is when the actor overlaps this trigger box, we want to do something. All right, so we're going to say on actor begin overlap, print string, All right? And we just want to say, hello, meta. All right, so this thing here that you saw, this is called the execution pin, which is, well, if this happens, then what next? So this is the execution line, right? This thing here. And print string is what will happen if an actor begins overlap. So I'm going to compile, I'm going to save, and you're going to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to press play. And as you can see on the top left, I don't think you can see it clearly, you see hello meta, right? How cool is that? You can't even see the trigger box, but you know the code is essentially running. So, you know, let's just break down how that happened, what's exactly happening here. So I'm gonna go to blueprints, I'm gonna click on open level blueprint. It's very simple, right? These things in red are called the actual events. And we have an event here, which is on actor begin overlap for this trigger box. And the way I selected that trigger box was by actually clicking on it and then in the blueprints, right clicking on it and adding an event for it, right? So I added an event called begin overlap and based on that overlap, I printed a string. So what exactly is happening here, right? For people who've never learned how to, or never done any code, what's happening is essentially on this event, right? When this event happens, Unreal Engine basically sends a signal to the blueprint saying, bro, this just happened, run its execution pin. So then the execution pin is called and a string is printed. Right? And this, this print string, you might think, well, what is a print string? Like, can I do anything in Unreal? Where are the commands for this? How did you know with, with, whether to use print string or not? Well, print string, and there are many, many other commands, and you can get the commands by just you know, pulling this out and seeing all the different things that Unreal can do. Right? You can do math, for example. You can, do, you can do so many things, right? And you'll get the hang of, we'll be using a lot of these different things. Like I said, there are a million things in here we only need. We only need a few things that are necessary for us. You cannot learn the entire engine, right? So uh, print string is one of those things. And over time, as you learn the documentation, as you, uh, as we go through this process, you'll learn all the other commands. Print string, prints a string, and that's why we have uh, the thing. If it doesn't work, just hit the compile button, hit save, because you need to compile your code so that it's baked in and it runs when the level is executed. All right, so that's about it. And uh, we'll catch you in the next episode where we are going to do something a little more complex with this trigger box. Bye-bye.